Ooh, you're so gay. You're such a slag. No one likes you. You're so stupid. You're such a retard. Hello, I'm Mrs. Welsh. I'm Head of Computing and Digital Media at Hollywood Academy. What you have just heard is everyday language between our youngsters. It's okay, miss. It's just bants, they say to me. But when those words are written down in electronic format, they are not forgotten and can be dwelled upon in the future. When it's online, everyone can see. How would you feel if your child received messages like this? What do you do? How can you protect your child? Our PSHE programme and computing curriculum is designed to educate our students so that they have the skills for the online community. E-safety refers to the means of operating safely online and taking the necessary precautions to ensure both you and your personal data is protected. Unfortunately, it has become increasingly common for children to become a victim of attack online due to the expansion and advancement of technology. Child grooming is a significant example of this. This is where an older adult befriends or establishes an emotional connection with a child, leaving them extremely vulnerable and more oblivious to the aims of the groomer. This closely links to the idea of catfishing, where someone pretends to be someone they're not in order to target a specific victim. At the age of 10, I was the victim of an online predator. He made me feel happy and wanted. Every day, I would rush home from school just to text him. It eventually got to the point where my mum was woken up from my phone going off in the middle of the night. When she found out what was happening, she was distraught. At the time, I was confused as to what the problem was, but when we started learning safety at Hollywood Academy, I realised what could have happened if she hadn't have intervened. Today, my privacy settings are always maximised, my passwords regularly changed, suspicious texts and emails go straight to the bin, and if someone I don't know friend requests me, I block them immediately. If you think that anyone needs help with online safety, you can always visit CEOP, Think You Know, Childline, or if you have an immediate situation, do not hesitate to call the police. There are many different platforms where a child or teenager could be abused or exposed on the internet. With the gaming industry flourishing in recent years, it is important that you always ensure that you know who your child is communicating with via mic. Platforms such as Snapchat and other live streaming apps can be extremely risky and harmful for children and young adults. This is because it is in the moment and something that can't be easily taken back. For younger children especially, social media can be a very toxic and unsafe place for them where they could be exposed to age inappropriate content or offensive language. I received death threats, racial comments and many other degrading language. In order to ensure that your children are staying safe online, there's a few different routes and people you can go to for help. Firstly, you should always make sure that their social media accounts are privated. This stops anyone they don't know from following or interacting with them. Additionally, making sure you, as parents and carers, have knowledge on the different platforms is vital for their safety, blocking any age inappropriate content and possibly setting time limits for their online activity. Hello, my name is Jaden and I'm going to talk to you about being bullied online. Being bullied online is people don't need a reason to do it. They just do it this out of spite. For example, it could just be you're in a simple group chat with your friends and then this person comes up and starts saying nasty things to you. This may make you feel very upset and you may feel like you can never talk to your friends on that chat. The way you could deal with this is by screenshotting those messages and keeping them on your phone. Then you can block that person so they stop sending that, those nasty messages to you. Then you can then tr tell a trusted adult. The one important thing is to remember is to stop, block and tell. Thank you for listening. As a parent or carer, it's important that you broach your child in a calm manner by having an open conversation with them, allowing them to be completely honest with what they've been experiencing. This sort of conversation can feel overwhelming, but it helps if you make it clear that you're only asking questions because you're concerned and want to help. Always reassure your child that you aren't out to punish them. My message and advice to parents would be 
not to let your kids be afraid of the internet. Keep an eye on your children. You know? You can't you can't be too ignorant either. You have to take a step forward, make sure they're okay all the time. Talk to them. Sometimes kids like me, who are more reserved, sometimes don't feel the need to talk to others and they need a little push. These are our safeguarding team at school. Please do not hesitate to contact our safeguarding leads or a trusted adult if you need any extra support. Thank you for watching.